Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles and let's talk about how prepared are you for the next natural disaster. All right, they're all just rolling in one, two, three. Every day there's something going on in this world and it's only a matter of time before something affects you and your neighborhood or you and your family. So why not be prepared? Things in the grocery stores are really starting to get scarce as far as how much products they do have. A lot of analysts and they're all predicting that can come August, September, you're going to see more of a shortage in the stores. So why wouldn't you want to get out and try to get whatever it is you can now to be prepared so you don't have to worry? That's the name of the game, right? So today, when I went to the store, some of these products, I picked up the last few products that were on the shelf in this particular Walmart that I went to, the one closest to my house. They consider it a super Walmart, but it's a very small store. I don't consider it a super Walmart at all. It's nothing compared to some of the other Walmarts in my area that are super Walmarts. But let's get going on this. All right. Now, first off, when I went there, I had the dry goods section because I wanted to pick up a few more beans and maybe some more rice. Well, they did not have any large bags of rice. Kind of... Uh, Mind-boggling, if you ask me, because they've always had those kind of products in stock. You know, you could buy a, a 10, 20-pound bag of rice. They didn't have any. They did have these little one-pound bags. So I just went ahead and I picked up a couple of these. All right, they're like uh, 78 cents for a one-pound bag. So I picked up two of those. Now I do have enough rice probably to last me and my wife for well over a year. As plus the beans and everything else that I do have. So rice and beans, I'm good on. Okay. I just like to keep adding to the stockpile just on the chance. Because in the times we live in now, we really don't know what's going to happen. So I went on down through there and you couldn't buy big bags. I could get a two pound bag of black beans, which I picked up. Now, they did have a few of those on the shelves. The rest of them were the one pound. So, I got some great northern beans. All right. I got some pinto beans, light red kidney beans. And then I had to go over to the other section, into the, quote, like Spanish section, the Goya section, and everything else, to find, like, your split piece for split piece soup. Um, this way here, you know, I mean, we all like split pea soup in my house. So it's something that I wanted to get a couple more of because I don't have a lot of those. I do have a lot of the other style beans and everything, but I didn't have a lot of the split peas. Now, also, I was able to get our coffee, so I bought a whole bunch of coffee, all right, because we drink the Maxwell House half-calf. Now, <clears throat> even staying just in this container here, it's good for until uh, 2022 of November of next year. So as long as you store these in a cool, dry place, they'll store for quite a while. And even if it does start to go a little bit bad, it loses a little bit, if it is an emergency type situation or something, some type of coffee is uh, better than none. If you do want to store coffee long term, you either have to get the freeze dried coffee, all right, because this will keep for 25 plus years, or you want to go out and you want to buy yourself green coffee beans. They have not been roasted or anything yet. You put those in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber, 25 to 30 years shelf life. Store it in a cool, dry place, just like with all your other products. And this way here, you always make sure if you have coffee. Now, maybe you're not a coffee drinker. Not me. You won't have to worry about that. We are coffee drinkers, so I want to make sure that I have coffee. Because if I don't have my coffee in the morning, well, usually it's not a pretty thing. So if you drink tea... Do the same with your tea bags. You can take your tea bags, you can vacuum seal them, or you can put them in a Marlar bag with a oxygen absorber and you'll have tea for a very long time. Now, I did go down through and I picked up the six packs of tuna fish. I got the last two in the store. That's all they had. Two. They had indiv individual cans and stuff, um, but I bought the last two six packs of, actually, excuse me, eight pack sorry folks that's the eight pack of the tuna fish all right 
I did pick up the last two cans of just the regular Spam. They had some other kinds that were on the shelf uh, that I'm not too crazy about. I've tried and I don't like them. So you have to buy what you like. This way here, you're eating something you might be able to, you know, enjoy. All right, I did pick up a corned beef, Walmart brand. All right, they had some of those on the shelf. The Spam, like I said, they did have other Spam and everything. Uh, just, they just, the regular original Spam, that was the last two cans. Then over here, you're going to see, I picked up two cans of uh, turkey. I've got roast beef. I've got beef tips. I've got pulled pork. Um, all that kind of stuff. So I picked up a lot of meat products and stuff. Corned beef hash. You just can't go wrong with corned beef hash. It's got meat and potatoes already in it. And corned beef hash is just absolutely delicious. All right. Then we moved on down the line. Picked up these two packs. They didn't have any of the big packs like they normally do. So I picked up four of these and I left two on the shelf. All right. So I picked up four two packs of chicken breast. Now these hams. All right, now you have to really pay attention when you go into a store and you're looking to buy some of these canned hams because they don't keep them all in the same place. I picked up the DAC ham in one area of the store. I picked up, because that was the last DAC ham. I picked up a Brookdale ham in another part of the store. All right, the Goya, I got in the Goya section of the store. It's just amazing, folks. And then on the last one here, this uh, Bristol ham was actually in another part of the store. Now these hams, remember, you don't have to refrigerate these. You buy these on the shelf and there's no refrigeration involved. Once you open it, yes, you have to refrigerate it with just about any product that you do have. All right, but these here are self-stable on your shelf for a very long time. You know, th these hams are good until 2025. So... If you can find these hams in your local stores, wherever you may shop, you may want to try to pick up a few and stock up on these. All right. If you're a coffee drinker, try to find some of the coffees. If worse comes to worse, get you some freeze dried. You know, you can pick up a decaf, a regular or whatever else. It's instant. Yes, but it lasts for a very long time. And that's what we're getting at here. We want something that's going to be shelf stable for a very long time. We want to be able to maximize the length of time things are going to last in our pantries, in our storage, in our stockpiles, your everyday use. You want to make sure that things are going to last. Now, beans and all this kind of stuff and rice seems like it's getting harder and harder to pick up those type of products, folks. So you may want to get out to the store soon and see if you can get some of these things before they're no longer available. If you get what I'm saying. You know, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to do away with our meat and they want to turn it around and feed us other products. And there's a big push for this, folks. You really need to open up your eyes and do your research and make sure that you're really checking some of this stuff out. So this has been a quick little video on a quick prep that I did today at Walmart. I did spend a little over, I think it was $105. Things are going up in price. So you really need to get out and get what you can now because it's going to keep costing you more and more. Inflation is a real thing, folks. It's affecting everything. Now, as a bonus, all right, I did go as a bonus. Go to the camping section. Mountain House. You get them for $8.98 a piece. Freeze dried, good for 30 years. You can put these in your emergency backpacks. You can put these in your emergency storage, whatever else. I got a ch chicken teriyaki. I got a beef stew. And I got a breakfast skillet. All right. Now, every time you go into Walmart, go over to the camping section. If you got an extra $9, grab one. Throw it into your 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 stockpile it can't hurt and this is automatic 30 years you have nothing to go wrong these mountain house they taste really good i am not affiliated with them let me get that really straight or anything else i just love their products the mountain house and everything else these things are really good i haven't had a bad one yet they're very easy to do very easy 
and lightweight that you can put into your pack or anything else. And you always have a good meal that you can eat in case of an emergency situation. As long as you can make hot water, which if you're a prepper, you should be able to, you got a hot meal. You don't have to worry about cooking anything. It's all right in the mountain house. All right, folks. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. You all keep prepping. Thrive to survive. And I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.